This is Mr. Jim Canning, Pennsylvania Patriots. From Athens, Pennsylvania, which is kind of fitting if you all ever know about the Battle of Athens, Tennessee. Well, we're, we are here to tell the American people that we are rising up and we are meeting with fellow law enforcement officers and military and we have had enough. I can attest to something else that the American people don't really know that much about. I went to Valley Forge Military Academy in oh, junior wow. college. And, and in my company, one of the reasons why I was, I was kind of turned off to the experience of the, uh, the school session, I went to summer and school sessions, and uh, they had South American dictators, kids, that were the company commanders and they were being trained there. And it was so obvious to myself as a 12-year-old boy and, and a couple of adults that knew me well is exactly what they were doing. These were South American, these were the future dictators mm -hmm. that we would put into place for American okay. corporate interests. Well, look at School of America. That's, a, you know, that's at a U.S. military base here in the United I States. I heard about that. School and, of America. And what, and what is it? We, we train foreign officers, we train foreign military. In fact, I, I can tell you without a doubt, I know firsthand that the uh, King of Jordan and his sons all went to uh, school here in the U.S. for the military I training. I knew that. I knew that. And they attended the uh, war college. How, uh, many, how many I, Americans I, I, I know, do you think know about that? I don't know, but you see, uh, I, I, I met him personally, and he told me. Actually, I met him a few times. So you know what? Something else comes to mind, too, you know. I talked to my stepdad about it, and he didn't want to hear it. He didn't want to believe it. I think he believed what he was told at the time, but the USS Liberty. Th these, these false flags, they've been happening forever. Mm -hmm. They've been happening since the, the, the creation of governments. Democide, I think more people have died from than any other single thing, but USS Liberty. Um, the Israeli government. Not the Israeli people, not the Jewish people, because I don't hate anybody. I, I, right. I had a Jewish girlfriends and my stepbrother. Was Jewish, my best friend in, in the world, and I, and I've been speaking to a lot of Jews that feel the same way that I do. That uh, the Palestinian people at the time that 1950s came along had nothing to do with Hitler. As a matter of fact, they opened with open arms. They allowed a lot of these refugees to be brought into Palestine before the British stepped in and made it the law and started pulling people out right. of their houses and I mean it's just like the nightmare that was visited upon the, the Jewish people was then allowed, allowed, excuse me, allowed to be visited upon a class of people that had nothing to do with it. Correct. And if the American people knew these things, these things are scrubbed from history. Now these are like tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theories. Well. I tell me that the tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theory was on that ship when all those boys got burned up by the napalm that the Israeli uh, fighters yep. threw on their decks. Oh, exactly. Now here's something I said this before: we create a lot of our own problems. Okay, let's go back history a little bit further. The Hegelian dialectic, I think it's called, problem creation really? solution. Okay, let, let, let's let's go back to the first Gulf War. Iraq invaded oh, no. Kuwait. Iraq called Kuwait. It's but 53rd province or something like that. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. After World War II, it was the Allies, the U.S. and the British, took a section of Iraq, a, a sovereign nation, forcibly removed a section from them and gave it to another people and created the country of Kuwait. Now, what right did we have as a, as a country to go into another country, take a piece of it, the only coastal area, and give it to someone else. We didn't have that right. If we had never done that in the first place, then neither one of the Gulf Wars would have happened. Uh, Iraq one and Iraq two never would have happened. Well, I, I go one one further with that. Uh, with that, there was a list of of countries that rejected the Rothschild Central Bank, and that list. If you look down that list, there's only three countries not left that we haven't handed their ass to. Mm -hmm. uh, Iraq was one of them, and uh, of course, Gaddafi, uh, uh, and, and Libya was another one. And I mean, we could get on the end of the list. All of these these nations that we've been invading are on a hit list. Yeah. Well, let's let's talk about Gaddafi in Libya. Okay. He wanted to bring back the dinar. He wanted to bring back Gold the dinar. dinar. He wanted all trade to be done with uh, valuable commodities. Okay. Done with the dollar. Uh, 
it's still being done by China and others today. Yes. However, we can't go that route. Why? Because we don't have the gold assets that we had before. That's right. Because what so a lot what of people do, do? What a lot of people don't realize, realize is uh, that most of our gold was sold off on the British Stock Exchange in the 50s. Yes. Yes. We don't have the gold back in the dollar anymore. That's why we are, that's why the U.S. dollar is based on credit and not on gold. And that credit's based on the U.S. military might, which is waning. It's being yes, it destroyed. Is. There's a reason why our military is being destroyed. It's the only thing that's keep that's propping up our dollar. Mm -hmm. I, in my opinion, I think it's the only thing that's well, propping it up. Well, when uh, you know, back to Gaddafi, Gaddafi had a lot of support with going back to dinar and trade being done on valuable commodities. Yes. Okay. Get away from the dollar and go to the dinar. We can allow that. So without authorization from the U.S. Congress, we spent millions upon millions of dollars bombing uh, a sovereign nation who was no threat to the United States other than the fact that he wanted to go to the dinar. Right. Now, see, the American people don't hear this. That, this is why I like, I, I like what we're doing here. Conversation. This is a conversation we need to be having with America, because the Americans have been robbed. They've been robbed of the history, the truth. I mean, people to this day they think that World War II, they think that the the Hitler rose to power from within Germany. They fail to see that the skull and bones classman, the uh, 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 Prescott Bush, the senator Prescott Bush, who was a skull and bonesman, and their emblem, mind you. Emblems are very important. Yes, they are. The emblem being the skull and bones ended up being the Gestapo's logo. Well, a lot of people don't realize the Union Bank, it was owned by Prescott Bush, funded Adolf Hitler's rise to power. We were the Nazis. The Nazis didn't come up through the German people. Well, they came with that. financial backing from the United States Senator Prescott we, Bush. We created, you know, he, Hitler was created. Uh, he was a, uh, uh, an infantryman who a was nobody. A, a nobody. But he had a good speaking voice, and he yep. was prompted to be the speaker, and yep. we, we all know the rest of the history. Yep, and well, you look at radio. I just got into to some radio. People heard what some of the things I had to say, and, and uh, that's a lovely girl out of uh, British Columbia, Sheila Zelensky. She, she brought me into her show, and she's given me an hour uh, of her show. She only does three hours a week. She's given me an hour of her show every week uh, because she believes in this message. And, and it's it's kind of the same thing. Any, you know, it, it, pardon my French, I'm a Christian man, any asshole can have a voice. Mm -hmm. But not everybody can have the idea that they can't kill. The Constitution is a piece of paper. It can be burnt. It can be blown up. It can be destroyed. But you can't kill the can't, idea of what it was written for. Exactly. Yeah, I think that... But our current administration's doing a good job of trashing it. Not our current administration it. isn't...